Chapter 7 Let's learn Scratch Learning Objectives Starting with Scratch Components of Scratch Window Types of Blocks Moving a Sprite Drawing with Pen Drawing a Straight Line Drawing a Circle Creating a New Project Opening an Existing Project Saving a Project Exiting a Scratch Introduction Scratch is an educational programming language used to create interactive stories, art, animations, games, etc. using block-based programming. Starting with Scratch To open Scratch project, click on Start button. A Start menu opens. Click on Scratch. A Scratch 3.0 offline editor window opens. Components of Scratch window Menu bar Tabs, Blocks menu, Blocks palette, Add extension, Script area, Stage, Full screen, Sprite, Sprite list, Choose a sprite, Choose a backdrop. Menu bar. Menu bar contains menus like File and Edit. It also displays the name of the project in the middle, Scratch project, Tutorials button displays various tutorials of Scratch projects using which you can learn and practice coding. Tabs There are three tabs, Code, Costume and Sounds. Code tab is used to create a script by dragging and dropping the blocks to script area. Costume tab is used to change the appearance of the sprite. Sounds tab is used to add sound effect in animation. Block menu it displays various types of blocks like motion, looks, sound, control, etc. Blocks palette. When you click a block in blocks menu, it displays a list of blocks in block palette. These blocks are used to create a script. Script area. Script area is an area where a script for a sprite is created. Sprite. Sprite is a graphic character on which a script is created. Sprite list. It displays the list of sprites created on stage. Choose a sprite. It is used to add a new sprite on stage. Choose a backdrop. It is used to fill the default white background with a colorful background. Fact file. The default scratch sprite is cat. Types of blocks. Various types of blocks provided by scratch 3.0 are Motion block. Motion block is used to move a sprite. It is a blue color coded block having 18 blocks in it. Looks block. Looks block is used to change the appearance of a sprite. It is a purple color coded block having 20 blocks in it. Sound block. Sound block is used to record and add sound. It is a pink color coded block having 9 blocks in it. Events block. Events block is used to trigger scripts to run. It is a yellow color coded block having 8 blocks in it. Control block. Control block is used to add conditional and looping blocks in a script. It is an orange color coded block having 11 blocks in it. Sensing block. Sensing block is used to sense things. It is a light blue color coded block having 18 blocks in it. Operators block. Operators block is used to perform Boolean and mathematical operations. It is a green color coded block having 18 blocks in it. Variable block. Variables block is used to create variables and lists. It is a dark orange color coded block having 5 blocks in it. My blocks. My blocks is used to create your own blocks. Moving a sprite. To move the sprite on stage, motion block is used. When you click on motion block in blocks menu, it displays a list of related blocks in blocks palette. Step by step method to move a sprite on stage is given below. Click and drag. Move 10 steps to script area. When you click on this block, the sprite will move in forward direction. Click and drag, turn. 15 degrees to script area and place it under move 10 steps block. It will move and turn the script 15 degrees clockwise. 
click the left button multiple times to see the movement of the sprite on stage. If you want to move the sprite multiple steps with single click, you can use block of control block. Like click on any block and it will run the project. Drawing with pen. Pen block is not present in blocks menu by default. To add it in blocks menu, follow the given steps. Click on add extension button. Choose an extension, window opens. Click on pen option. A pen block is added to the blocks menu. When you click on pen block, it displays related blocks in blocks palette. Drawing a straight line. To draw a straight line as the sprite moves on the stage, you can follow the given step-by-step -step procedure. Open Scratch Project. Click on Control Block and select Block and drag it to Script Area. Click on Motion Block and select Move 10 Steps Block and place it inside Repeat Block in Script Area. Click on Pen Block and drag the blocks. Pen Down. Change Pen Size by 1. And set pen color to under move block inside repeat block. Change the value of change pen size by one block from one to five. Click on any block to run the script. A yellow line of thickness five points will be drawn as the sprite moves in forward direction. Drawing a circle. The script to draw a circle is repeat 30, move 20 steps. Turn 20 degrees, pen down, set pen size to 5, set pen color 2. In the above example, the value of repeat block is changed to 30, move block to 20 and turn block to 20. Fact file. Erase all block is used to clear the drawing. Creating a new project. Click on file menu. A menu list opens. Click on new option. Opening an existing project. Click on File menu. A menu list opens. Click on Load from your computer option. An open dialog box appears. Select or type the name of the project you want to open in file name text box. Click on Open button. Saving a project. Click on File menu. A menu list opens. Click on Save to your computer option. A Save As dialog box opens. Type the name of the file in file name text box. Click on Save button. Exiting Scratch To exit from Scratch, click on the Close button on the right side of the title bar. Quick Backup Scratch is an educational programming language. Sprite is a graphic character on which a script is created. Motion block is used to move a sprite. Control block is used to add conditional and looping blocks in a script. Script area is an area where a script for a sprite is created. Sound block is used to record and add sound. Pen block is not present in blocks menu by default.